Well, I was just sitting here playing around with the computer, and I looked at the tide. Low tide's at uh, 11.58 or something like that. So I think I'm going to go down to the beach. So I'm going to pack up my crap, and I'll see you down at the beach. All right? Later. so I didn't have to wear my booties all the time and my feet didn't have to be soggy wet hours on end out there. So we're gonna give these a try and see what they what they do for my feet. Anyway, I get out there and I get something, I'll give you a look at it, all right? See you in a bit. Well, I'll give you one guess as to what my first target was. It was a penny, of course. But check this out, look what I just dug and it was just one scoop down right there. Can you imagine some kid running out here and digging his foot down into the sand and having that thing stab him in the foot? Real nice, huh? Yep. Excellent. Well, I hope you all can see that and hear that. I don't know if you can tell, you can see that little line of shells right there. It's like a little river flowing this way. There's the water, you can see the ripples coming out. There's a big sandbar out there. The water that comes over gets trapped and it runs to the north back to the pier. Back that way. And there's like a little river running right through here, kind of a low spot. And I found a piece of aluminum, bottle cap two pull tabs in here and whatever the hell whatever this is Dime. One dime. Meager dime. Alright, cool. At least I got a dime now. Alright, on the next. Two hours later. Well, as usual, I didn't turn the camera on because it sounded like crap, like a bottle cap kind of out of that hole that Mother Nature is now burying. I got a quarter. Big money. So I got a quarter now. I just need a nickel. 
and I can die happy. Or at least go home happy. Well, I've dug a few pennies and stuff, but this is the first one that I've dug that resembles the ones we were digging earlier. I think it's a weedy, but it's so... Well, right there I just dug another signal that sounded like crap. And it's another one of those quarters that looks silver. I'm sure it's not, but it has that silver look to it. That gray, I don't know. Hell, let me look. Yeah, see, it's a 19... It's a goner. It's an 82. 1982, but it has that look of being silver. Well, I found another weedy. Another one of those rub smooth. I can just barely make out the one scent on the back. Camera's not got enough light from this light. But you can make out the one scent on the back. Might be able to get a date off it later. And just an update, I had to take the booties off because it was rubbing the tops of my middle toes raw. Well, it's probably another penny because that's all I've dug now in the last... Yep, another penny. Pennies, 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 pennies. Hey, out of that hole right there, I just dug something. Let's play a little game. Uh, in the comments below, comment down below your guess as to what it is. And if you win, or if you guess it right, you win nothing. Because if you don't guess it right, you ain't watched enough of these videos or enough of this video yet to know what's going on here. So, you can guess as to what it is, and it shouldn't be hard. All right, so I'm just funning. All right, I'm gonna keep on going here and keep digging these things. Anyway, look who I found. Hey guys. I found Rummy. He's down here, he got, he got the, I guess they finally got booted from Huntington. <laughs> I wondered when that was going to take place. Well, it was a little too close to around 10 o'clock, and I think somebody else got booted before me and kind of spoiled it. A bunch of dig holes when I got out there, so I headed down here. Well, as you can see, I'm right next to the pier, and right back there, right out there somewhere, I just dug right there. I dug the china for a Chinese fork. Well, I guess the Chinese fork would be chopsticks, but uh, I got a fork. I got a fork. Well, it's nice and clear, so it's probably a penny. One wasted dime. Finally dug another dime. One of those ones that the stuff's almost rubbed off to the copper stuff inside. All right, the dime took long enough. Well, I'm kind of standing in a little trough. I don't know if you notice that. Well, you can't see, but. It's kind of deep right here. It's kind of a little trough thing right here. And in this trough, as you can see, because I'm the one getting wet. See how the waves come through right here, but kind of peter out over there. But I got this bimetal, I'm sure it's Mexican. 
little bimetal coin. I don't know what kind it is. I see a five or something on it. But anyway, got a fern coin. So that's the target. And I'm going to go tell Rummy. C'est la vie. That's all I'm digging. Just freaking pennies. Another freaking penny. Well, remember I was telling you about the shoes that I got? Well, these are them. Uh, can you see those things? They're made out of paracord. They're really comfortable and they look like they'd work really well for what I want to use them for except that when they get sand on them and then you walk around and the sand rubs and I rubbed two damn blisters on the tops of my toes. So what I'm gonna have to resort to, I think is, which is the idea I probably had first, was to use Lycra socks with them. So I'm gonna order some Lycra socks and give it a second try. We'll see how that goes. Well, here's a wrap up from yesterday's, last night's hunt. Um, some kind of leashy looking thing, a fork, one of them dang clips, what's left of a knife, a part of the blade is just left in the brass rivet, one piece of a hair clippy thing, about 20 pennies, 15 pennies, three dimes, two quarters, and a five bimetal five uh, Mexican coin. And I got two Wheaties, and I can't make out the dates yet. They're pretty worn. I mean, this one's, I could just make out one, the one and the one cent on the back of this sucker. But the uh, front's pretty well obliterated too. So anyway, quick garage corner wrap up for that hunt because it wasn't all that successful. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Till next time, see ya. Good luck and happy hunting. Bye.